So I got thinking about something. Something uh, I kind of feel bad about. Never really explained about the farm truck situation. And uh, I was never really clear on what happened to the original farm truck. Yep, this is not the original farm truck. And there is a lot of people that um, are under the impression that it might be. They just assume that it is. And I don't, I don't blame you for that. But the original farm truck was, uh, well, I guess you could say it was just another broken dream. Also, it was a 77 C20. This right here is a 1978 C10. The original one, um, I think uh, in some of my videos of it, I was getting ready to sort of rebuild it. And, uh, some stuff happened, and uh, some people let me down, and uh, tough situations. Uh, a place where I was working on it, keeping it, wasn't able to stay there any longer. Some say it was uh, my choice, but really, I had no choice but to get out of there and um, I gave a close friend of mine the chance to take over the project yeah so when I uh, when it was time for me to go I um, gave that friend of mine who I thought was uh, my best friend, really, at the time, um, he sort of let me down at that point, I mean, there was a lot of, a lot of letdowns over the years, but, and there was a lot of good times, too, but, supposed to, um, help me rebuild a big block for it, and, uh, I had taken the bed off and gotten another parts truck with a bed on it because uh, I beat up the bed really bad scrapping with it and uh, I got a lot of work done to it and got the back frame all done got some one ton springs put in it and uh, then anyway it got to the point where I had to call it quits and uh, get the hell out of there but um I knew there was really going to be nowhere for me to finish the project for a long time anyway. Um, of course, I wish, uh, you know, wish times were different and uh, I wish I had kept it now because knowing everything that happened and uh, where I am now, I could have finished it. But I guess things just happen that way. So I, uh, when I knew that it was the end and I had, there was nowhere for me to put it, I mean, I'm not going to put it under a tarp in the yard, you know, I had no garage, nothing, um, I didn't want that, so I had a couple of motors on stands, I had a bunch of spare parts and a whole nother parts truck, uh, you know, like I said, with the good bed on it, a bunch of other stuff. So I called up this friend and I said, you know, I'm going to give you a, you know, one day sale, you know, for a thousand dollars cash 
take everything the truck the motors the parts everything I have for that and the parts truck thousand dollars towed all the house he had uh, gotten a house with a nice garage which is a whole nother story that I'm not even gonna get into but we're gonna do one thing at a time here one broken dream at a time is all you can handle it's all I can handle but um yep so he called me back and said yeah yeah I got the money I want to do it so okay it's a pretty good deal so I uh, towed everything out of there sold it all to him and shortly after was on my way so anyway as far as I know um, last I heard was getting painted or something for like years I don't know but um, I mean hopefully you know I hope it does get done for the truck's sake not for the person's um, but you know hopefully he does something with the truck and uh, gets it going so anyway yeah that's uh, that's the story with that and uh, then you know a while later maybe uh, I don't even know years go by so quick but um, then I came across this truck came across an ad for this online and the kid had picked up a couple of trucks and uh, he was selling this one pretty cheap um, so I kinda liked it and I said I gotta have it bring it to me so it was um interesting truck Two hands for the two hands. So when he brought it to me, it ran, but uh, didn't run too good. You know, as soon as you uh, tried to drive it, and give it any gas, it just wanted to die out. It was really unknown what the engine was, but. Once I started messing around with it, I noticed the distributor was in wrong. Was, timing was way off. Um, carburetor was screwed up. Uh, some wiring issues. Had stock manifolds. The little uh, two inch exhaust coming out. But once I started messing around, I started adjusting it, putting an actual good carburetor on it. And adjusted the timing it was then I realized it's got a pretty decent cam in it something's going on with this not just a stock motor so with uh, further investigation I realized that it's a crate motor um, you can see the one first sign is you get the uh, dual dipsticks one on each side because they just gave you both because they didn't know what you were going to put the motor in so long story short the old guy that had this truck he rebuilt everything I mean every bushing every line everything underneath including the engine was brand new the body however not so good the body on this thing is just uh, completely not very good anyway it's got some different doors on it he just kind of slapped on some panels the floor was completely gone I lifted up the rug and noticed that there was just no floor at all so I fixed that you, you saw that in another video It's got a different bed on it. It's not even that great. 
it's held on by a couple bolts. That's it. Um, the cab itself is barely held on to the frame. Take a corner too quick, hit a bump, kind of comes up, bangs off the frame. Um, I mean, there's worse out there, but it, I don't know, presents itself not too bad, I guess. But the old guy loved this truck, and uh, he drove it all over the country. In fact, he was, the uh, engine got tired, and he uh, went to his local mechanic that always worked on the truck and said, you know, I want a, I want a crate motor. And what he wanted was just a stock, nice stock running, you know, good wrench, 350, just a replacement. But I think someone punched the wrong part number in because he got the uh, GM Performance crate motor. It's got the big cam and the better heads and all that. So, not sure what he thought about that because I didn't really know him. But he got it to a point where uh, he almost had it ready. It was a lot of, it looked like he had just plunked the motor in there. It was a lot of stuff that was loose. Um, but once he got ready, he got, uh, he was all ready to go on his trip. And he got sick. And he passed away. So the truck sat at his brother's house for a long time. They almost cut it up uh, and just took the motor out sold that separate but the kid I got it from he picked this up and then another rotted like uh, 87 four wheel drive Chevy nothing I really wanted but uh, he saved it so to speak and here it is today I've done a lot of little things nothing too major uh, it had he just had brand new tires put on it, brand new brakes, brand new fuel tank. Like I said, everything underneath is all new, but uh, you know the body is just uh, pretty shot. Frame is the frame is really solid, but um, so that's the story. And uh, apologize if. Uh, you got bored there. I know it was kind of a long one, but I felt like uh, I felt like it was necessary to kind of set it straight on that um, because I, I noticed that there was some people commenting and stuff, you know, you know about the old farm truck, and they were referring that you know they think that this is the original truck, and I wish it was. I wish I could say that it was, but no, long gone. But its spirit lives on, I'd like to say. I appreciate uh, everyone that, you know, hung in there and that still watches my videos. I know uh, they're a lot different from the old days, but um, it's the way it is, the way she goes. Um, but I do appreciate you watching. And, uh, hope you enjoy. You never know. Maybe I'll see you one day on the streets.